much love and peace to go around. So much love for the whole world on a beautiful day. You're watching Hello Nigeria. You're watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're looking at the life of a woman, a woman in the workplace, and what are some of the things that prevent women from being the best of themselves. Today we're joined by Eniola Edu. She's executive manager at Lighthouse Network and manager at um, her own company as well. General manager. General Tech manager, Plus. Tech Plus, I beg your pardon. Thank you so much for joining us, Eniola. Eniola, we know that you're very passionate about women as well. We know that today is not Wednesday, but today's conversation <laughs> has just been about women, 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 and how women can live their best lives. And in the last conversation I had with Ezine, Ezeani, she talked about the fact that even in workplaces, there are certain roles that women are not so excited to go for because they just feel that they will not get it. Why is this so? Thank you very much, Ali. Um, I think that it's such an interesting conversation and I'm, I am particularly excited because the time is now. So there are a lot of things that, and again, can I take it back to society? Um, because I think that the society has played um, a vital role in this. Um, women not being able to ask for much, um, women just generally being timid and not having a voice. Um, and that is why at the Lighthouse Network, we take it upon ourselves. Um, to build a community of strong women that we can help and then support one another. I mean, our mantra is lighting your candle does not necessarily dim mine. And that's because we believe in that conviviality, that sisterhood, and then pushing one another to be the best version of themselves. Um, and right now, like um, in two days, we're going to be talking, we're going to be having conversations around inclusion. And that's because we just feel, okay, you know what? When you were talking career, when we were talking business enterprise, um, it's almost like a boys' club at the top, <laughs> if you understand so what I mean. So at the end of the day, you think that women don't usually own up to going for these positions because they just feel like the men will naturally just get them. Yes, and, and it's, it's sad, but then again, I, um, I think in the last couple of years, there's been a massive improvement. Um, women holding really, really important roles at the end of affairs in different organizations. So I must say to you, it's such an interesting time, but I... We, I think that it's very important that women actually, I mean, it's all about owning it. It's all about just ask for it. Um, just just do it. Just ask, ask for it. These things, the opportunities are there. Um, there's this popular um, thing on social media, the meme on social media about if there's no seat for you at the table, how create about you create your own exactly, seat? Create so your really, own yeah. Seat. Um, I mean, that's what we're all about. We're all about seeing women advance in their different fields at the Lighthouse Women's Network. And um, in two days, we're actually going to be having a gathering where we want to hear from the other side. I mean, this man, they're actually at the table. What are the expectations? How are we supposed to ask for this, um, this position? Should it be that we ask for these positions or we should merit these positions? Now, there, there's this argument. People say that we're throwing around the female card. Well, because I'm a woman, I should have this. Should it be because I'm a woman or because I'm a qualified person to own this, that I should be and, you know, allowed to sit or I should be allowed to participate in this? We know that in many organizations, in many sectors of the economy, let's start with politics. In Nigerian politics, we can count with every House of Assembly, with the eight House of Assembly, we know how many women were there. It's as if we're having a steady decline yeah, in the absolutely. number of women that are involved in politics. South Africa, for example, has taken a huge step in ensuring that there is adequate inclusion of women in politics. But would we say that in Nigeria, you know, it's a thing of us throwing around the female card, or is it because we're pushing because there are actually women that merit it? Um, thank you very much. I think that generally, men, women, nothing is ever ended over to you. You have to fight for it, and you have to really, I think it's all about posturing, positioning yourself, and uh, make, like, just making yourself visible that you deserve it, you have earned it. I mean, sometimes, even sometimes when you get, um, when things are being handed over to you, um, there is probability you get there and you really don't even know how to under it because you're not prepared for it. So it's important. I mean, that it's, it's like a cap. When you get the opportunity and then when you get an opportunity to serve, 
I mean, it's great, but then again, how prepared are you? So you have to work at it. You have to believe in yourself. And um, it's also the fact that you have to just know no one owes you anything. For everything that you get, you need to work for it. So it's not necessarily the gender card. I think where gender comes in is because for a very long time, women has been overlooked in the workplace and the business place. Um, different ecosystem. In my day life, I'm in a tech, uh, and it's, um, I'm in a tech business. I work in a tech business, and it's largely male dominated. But then again, recently, we've seen the turnaround. Women are coming out boldly to say, look, it's for everyone. So the Lighthouse Network, I mean, it's part of what we do. Um, there is mentoring. I mean, we've had really great, really great minds. Um, How important mentor is people. mentoring? You know, I'm glad that you mentioned that. In the place of helping a woman being the best of herself at her workplace, what is the role of mentoring? If you ask me, and me being, um, I mean, I've been a recipient of mentorship. So I understand the importance of mentoring. I think that we all need our hands held at some point in our lives to climb the, to climb the ladder. I think so. It's really important. So if you ask me, mentorship, it's very important, as well as sponsorship in, in the workplace. What would you say are some of the most common inhibitions of women in the workplace? What are some of the limitations that they have to experience or they constantly go through that limit them from being the best versions of themselves at the workplace? I think not having a voice. Um, so, uh, my mentor would say to me, um, beware of sentence um, finishers in the workplace, in court, if there's anything like that. And men, because they have the voice, they're very confident. Um, most of us sometimes we tend to be timid. So, because men are confident, um, so sometimes you have the idea, you really want to speak up, and you're murmuring. No one can hear you. And the next person, the next person sitting close to you is a man. It helps you echo it, and it takes the accolade. So if you ask me, it is us owning it, being confident, showing up at every given opportunity. I mean, um, if you have, I, I tell women and I tell everyone, I mean, people around me, if you ever get an opportunity, even if it's as, as little as presenting hello, thank you, in a meeting room, please take it as a woman, because I mean, it helps you position yourself, it helps you emphasize your presence, your voice, your abilities and your capabilities that is being overlooked. So I would say confidence, um, having a voice, being bold and asking questions. I think that as women, we need to stay curious in the workplace. I like that you mentioned that if you ever have an opportunity, even if it's just to say hello or hi, do not pass Absolutely, up on it. Because beyond it. opening the doors for you and ensuring that your voice is being heard, it opens the doors for other women as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Let, we know that you have an event coming up. What, what's it about? Thank you very much. Um, on Saturday, it's the sixth annual event um, for the Lighthouse Network. Um, I mean, we have keynote speakers. And also, the interesting thing and the dynamic um, this year is that we're going to be hearing from the men. I mean, what is the view? So the theme for this year is views from the other side. I mean, let them come to tell us what are those things lacking from their own pers perspective. What should we really watch out for if we want to excel? In? So, and these men are from different sectors across the business and across you know the entire ecosystem i mean we have health we have media we have um, communications across and they're really at um high if not the highest places of their career we have ceos we have um, business leaders coming to talk to women on how they should show up very, I mean, very, very important table. because yes. at the end of the day, in this journey towards achieving gender equality or helping women be the best version of themselves, men have a very important role to play. Oh, yes. How can people find out more information about this? What's the social media? Okay, the Lighthouse follow? Network. I mean, that's the website, www.thelighthousenetwork. And of course, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, and then we're on Facebook. And people should just come. I mean, I think that the best um, service any woman can give to themselves is self-development. And that's what we're passionate about, to see more women win at the table and crash the ceiling glass. Thank you so much, Anyola Edu, for joining so us. Much for and speaking me. so extensively about the role of women at the workplace, as well as the men. We'll be hearing the views from the other side. Remember to follow at Lighthouse Network on all social media platforms and visit their website if you'll be interested in this. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.